Hey everyone, this is Anna with Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff, and I am here today with another one stamp set, one ink, one paper video for you today. So I've started these videos and I'm really enjoying them. I take one stamp set, one ink, and one paper and make up three card designs that you can make quickly and easily and, you know, replicate these and add a lot of cards to your collection in just a few minutes. So the stamp set I am using today is the Heartland stamp set. This one is retiring, which means here in just a couple of days, it goes on the Wild Supplies last list. And if the supply lasts, it will be available through June 2nd. At that point, it will be gone forever. So um, if it sells out before then, it would be gone sooner. But I love this set. I'm from a farm, so... You know, lots of people in my life really like this type of card. I've used it a ton for men's cards, but I just wanted to share this, make sure everybody knows that this is going away and show you some really cute cards that you can make with it. So what we need to make these three cards, we need our card bases. I have used, for you beginners out there, a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, which I cut in half and then fold each of those pieces in half. So here we have our card bases, I have three of them. And then for the very vanilla pieces, I cut them. This was two and a half by three and a half inches. This one is two and a half by two and a half inches. The three pieces on this card measure two inches by two inches. So for these videos, I assume that you have white or vanilla cardstock and for this one, I'm adding in the one other color, which is soft suede. And my ink color for today is also soft suede. So we'll do our stamping first for this card. Here are my three squares. And I thought it would look really cute to do one of each of the images that comes in the stamp set on a little square and then put the three on like you can see. So here's the tractor, ink it up and stamp it. Here we have this little boy with the geese. I just love this one. I think it is so cute. You could use this for kids. You could use it for grown men. I've seen pictures of my dad growing up on the farm so long ago, and it reminds me of the pictures I've seen from him growing up. There's our barn. So I'll bring our card base in. And we'll go ahead and attach these and finish this card up. So these two I attached using my snail adhesive. You can use glue if that's what you prefer. If you are just starting out, I really encourage you to get, get one of these because it makes it so much faster than trying to use another type of adhesive. Glue works too. If glue is your preference, I highly suggest our liquid multi-purpose glue that comes in that green and white bottle. Now, you could attach this piece directly onto the card. I like to use my dimensionals to pop it up just a little bit. So here's my foam dimensionals. These add a lot to cards without doing much work at all. So I like to keep them on hand. I use them on almost every card I make. And we'll put him right there in the center. Now, since the Heartland stamp set doesn't have a lot of greetings, I pulled in my Well Said stamp set that has a greeting for everything. And that's what I will be using for the sentiments on these cards. So I grab the one that says sending thoughts. Stamp that right there. And I put some vanilla cardstock on the inside. If you want, you could put a greeting on the inside. I just decided just to leave it blank and that way I can personalize it when I go to send it out to somebody. Let's try this happy birthday card next. So we'll stamp on our two and a half by three and a half card stock. For any of you learning to stamp, when you ink your stamps up, you do not want to press very hard. If you press too hard, 
you'll get a lot of excess ink on that stamp and potentially make a mess with all of that excess ink. So this one I kept really simple. I just put dimensionals on the back of here and then I stamped that happy birthday greeting. Here's happy birthday. Looks good. And last but not least, let's make this one with the tractor here as kind of the focal point and I put the barn in the background. So the white or the vanilla cardstock for this one measures two and a half by two and a half ink up our tractor stamp it on there i love this tractor stamp. i've used this one a ton men love tractors don't they and dogs now i'm going to stamp the barn in the background This is, I just love the stamp. I made a card a while back with this one. I stamped it with Memento Black Ink and then I colored it in with the Stampin' Blends. It turned out absolutely beautifully. So you can check that out. If you go to my blog, scrappingstampingandstuff.com, you can search for Heartland, the name of that stamp set, and that should pop up in the results. If you're ever looking for card ideas and you want to see if I have anything on my website, you can use that search box. Just type in the name of the stamp set and if I have anything on there, it should pop up. Okay, now let's add our little greeting. Thanks. And it's as easy as that. So in just a few minutes, we created three different card designs with the Heartland stamp set. And you could add these to your collection if you needed one to send out real fast. This, these would be some great ideas that you could sit down and put together really quickly. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you stop in next time. Have a great day.